Okay, this is a lesson on quadratic functions for Algebra 1. The objective students will graph quadratic functions using a table. Before I've taught you, at the beginning of the year, I taught you three types of graphs. The first type of graph was a linear graph. And let's say we had a graph that looks like this, y is equal to 4x plus 1. We know that our slope is 4, y intercept is 1. But when I first taught you is that this we could graph this with an xy chart. And I told you to, to pick a few numbers, negative 2, 0, and 2. Remember this a few months back? Yeah? You could graph anything you want just making a chart like this. Um, if I plugged in negative 2, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, plus 1 is negative 7. Zero, 4 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. If I plug in 2, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Okay, these are all coordinates on the graph that I could graph it, okay? <clears throat> this is called a linear graph, right? We know it's linear because it's x to the first power, okay? Now, this graph, this next one is called quadratic. Why is it called quadratic? Well, called quadratic because the exponent is to the second power. Okay, This is called quadratic equation. Remember talking about quadratic, linear, and cubic at the beginning of the year? Remember that? Linear, quadratic, cubic. Remember all that? Okay, well we're going to learn how to draw a quadratic equation. Okay, so We're going to focus on this one, and what we're going to do is look at the steps. So, these are the steps that you already have written down. So, if you're on the video, you can pause it right now and write them down. Okay, watch me do numbers one and two. Okay, number one, we're going to graph the function f of x equals x squared plus 4x plus 1. First thing I want to do is make sure it's in standard form. It already is. Standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c. So, I ask myself, what is a? B a is the number in front of x squared, so a is equal to, it's not there, but it's equal to 1. Our b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 1. <clears throat> so I got these three numbers, a, b, and c, and I figured them out first. Then I would want to figure out what my vertex is, right? My quadratic, picture of a quadratic graph, it always looks like it looks like it's a u, or an upside down u, or uh, just like a v, almost. It's the point at the end of when it bows. So we want to figure out that vertex first. So the way we figure that out is we go to we write down negative b over 2a, and we solve for it. So we have negative b, which is going to be negative 4 over 2 times a. Our a is equal to 1. So it's going to be 2 times 1, and negative 4 over 2 or it's going to be negative 2. Okay, This negative 2 represents our vertex. So when we write down our vertex, it's going to be the middle point of our x and y table and our graph. So we want to write down negative 2 right here. Then I'm going to pick two numbers that are bigger than negative 2, Okay, that are next to negative 2. Um, that are easy to work with. And I know that negative 1 is easier to work with than negative 3, so I'm going to pick negative 1, and then 0 also. So I'm going to plug these numbers in now. So negative 2, if I plug in negative 2 here, negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 2 is 8, negative 8, okay? So we have 4 plus negative 8 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3, okay? So I go back to my table and I write down negative 3 when I put in uh, negative 3. Next, what happens if I input negative 1 into my function, meaning to my machine, what's my output going to be? Negative 1 squared is 1. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, so 1 minus 4 is negative 3, plus 1 is negative 2. So if I put a negative 1 in, I get negative 2 out. 0 now. 0 squared is 0. 4 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. So there should be a 1 here. 
Okay. Now that I have those, I'm going to pick a couple points that are next to negative 2 on the opposite direction. We're going to write down negative 3, negative 4. And I'm just going to copy the answers that I did over here, right over here. Because if I were to plug in negative 3 into my equation, I'd still get negative 2. Watch. Negative 3 squared is 9. Uh, <clears throat> 4 times negative uh, 3 is negative 12. So uh, negative uh, 9 minus 12 is negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. See? Or even if I put in negative 4 in. Negative 4 squared is 16. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. So 16 minus 16 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Okay? These points are all now ordered pairs, so I'm going to plot them down as ordered pairs. Each, each of these is an ordered pair. So just like before, you're just going to plot these on your graph. So I go to my vertex first, negative 2, negative 3. Plot my point. Then we got negative 1, negative 2. Plot my points. And then we got 0, 1, and negative 4, 1. Plot my points here, and then I draw my graph. And I'm all done. I just graphed my uh, first equation. All I really did, again, is I figured out if this is in standard form. I identified A, B, and C. Then I figured out where does my vertex start by plugging in negative B over 2A, solving for negative B over 2A. We get negative 2 is the x, or the x-axis of the uh, <coughs> or axis of symmetry of the uh, quadratic. Put a negative two, and then I pick a couple numbers that are that are next to that are easy to work with. I solve for each of these, copy them to negative three, negative four, plot in my points and graph it. Okay. Now watch me do number two. There you go a little more quickly now. Okay, number two. Y is equal to x squared. Here we go. Our a is equal to two. We don't have a b, so we could assume it's 0x, and our c is, we don't have one, so it's going to be 0. So our b is 0, and our c is 0. So I start with negative b over 2a. So we got negative 0 over 2 times 2. 0 divided by anything is just going to be 0. So our axis of symmetry is going to be at 0. So I'm going to pick a couple numbers that are bigger than 0. 1 and 2 are good to work with. And I plug them in. Okay? So we have 0. 0 squared is 0 times 2 is 0. So this should be 0. Okay? Over here we got 1 now. 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. So if I plug in 1, I get 2 out. 2 now. Plug in 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So I plug in 8. Oh, excuse me. Then I'm going to pick a couple numbers that are the opposite way from 0, negative 1 and negative 2. And I'm going to copy these two numbers that I got, 2 and 8, in the same direction so it's symmetrical. You see how 0 is in the middle? And it goes 2s and then 8s. Okay. Then I plot my points. 0, 0. Uh, 1, 2. And then 2, 8. And then the, uh, the other points as well. And you can see it looks like a narrower, narrower um, graph. We're going to just draw a U-shaped graph. It's going to look like a V, but try to make it curvy if you can at the end. And that's it. We just graphed number two. Okay? Any questions on this? So that's those are the steps. That's the easiest way to do it um, by making a table. So what I'd like you to do is with your partner pick one problem that makes sense between the two of you and try to explain to each other the steps on how we graph the quadratic. Ready? Set? Go. Number three, here we go. So on number three, on the white side of your whiteboard, so I don't want you to graph it yet, I want you to first 
identify what's your A, B, and C. Well, first write the problem down and then identify what's A, B, and C. A, B, and C, okay? What are your A, B, and C, okay? Your A is what, everyone? One. B? Two. Dos. C? Cinco. Okay, good. So we got your A, B, and C of one, two, and five, okay? Next, we're going to figure out what's our vertex. So we're plugging into negative B over 2A. Okay, so we got negative 2 over 2A. 2 times 1 is 2. So what's negative 2 over divided by 2? Negative 1. Okay, what does this negative 1 represent, everyone? The what? The, uh, the, the, the middle the, thing, which is the called the... Vertex, good. So, next thing you do is you draw your x, y table. Since it's your vertex, that negative one should be in the middle. Pick two numbers that are around negative one that are easy to work with. What's what's the number by negative one that's easy to work with? Zero. Zero. What's the next bigger number from zero? Two. One. Okay. So let's plug these numbers in. Negative one. Put negative one in first. Negative one squared is? One. Negative one. Negative one. Two times negative one is? Negative two. Good. One minus two is? Um, one. Four. Negative one. Negative one plus five is? One. Four. Positive four. Good. So if you put in negative one as your vertex, you're going to get positive four. Okay? Next one, zero. Zero. Zero squared is? Zero. Two times zero is? Zero. Zero plus zero plus five is? Five. 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 Good. So then you would? Okay, next one. Is? One. One squared is? One. Two times one is? Two. One plus two is? Three. Three plus five is? Eight. Eight. Okay. Good. Now, what numbers are you going to put in the opposite side of negative 1 all the way up here? Negative 2 and negative 3. Good. What number would you put next to negative 2? Uh, what number will you copy there? 5. five. Good. What number are you going to copy next to negative 3? Eight. 8. Okay. And if you don't believe yourself, just do a little quick check. Okay. If I plug in negative 2... Negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. Good. The right number. Okay, so we're in the right direction. Okay? So, next step, we're going to take these as ordered pairs and we're going to graph them. We're graphing these now as ordered pairs on our graph paper. I'm going to erase this. Okay? So, you just graph it as follows. You can even copy what I'm doing. So we got negative 1, 4. We got 0, 5. We have 1, 8. Over here we have negative 2, four, uh, 5. And negative 3, 8. And that's it. You just graphed your first uh, quadratic or uh, quadratic equation. Okay. So what I'd like you to do is copy my graph. Okay. This problem is really just about you copying and doing exactly what I did. Okay. If you want to end, make sure you check it. I want you all to graph like mine, and I'm going to check your work in about 20 seconds. Okay. Okay. Good. So number four now. Please copy the problem down. I want you to. Turn to your neighbor and tell them what your A, B, and C are for number four. What are your A, B, and C? Turn to your neighbor. What's A, B, and C? Tell them what A, B, and C are. Okay, what's A, everyone? Negative two. B? Zero. Why is it zero? Because there's nothing there. 
Good. It's like saying plus zero x, right? What's our c? Zero. Zero, zero two, right? Okay, good, because it's not there. Because technically, you could say plus zero x plus zero, right? And but since it's not there, we don't have to worry about it. Just leave it alone. Okay. Good. What do we do to find our vertex? What's the little formula we have to plug into? Negative b over 2a. So we start with negative b over 2a. So we got negative, <coughs> negative 0 over 2 times a, which is 2 times negative 2. Okay, what's 0 divided by anything, by the way? 0. 0, right? So our vertex is going to be at 0, right? Okay, what do I draw next? Your x and y. Our x, y chart, right? So we already did the b over 2a. So we're going to put 0 in the middle. Pick two numbers that are next to 0 that Negative are... Negative 1 and 1. Well, let's pick... They have to be in uh, consecutive order. 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Okay, so let's plug in zero. If I plug in zero here, zero squared is zero. Times negative two is zero. Zero, zero right? So then we write zero next to zero. Okay, what happens if I plug in one? One squared is negative one. two. Negative two. One times negative two is negative two, right? So then you're gonna plug in. You're gonna write negative two as our output or our y. Okay, plugging in 2, what happens if I plug in 2, what would I get? Negative 2. 2 squared is? 4. 4 eight times six. negative 2 is? Negative 8. Okay, so be slow. Please slow down. You don't want to make those silly errors and get this wrong, okay? Okay, let's pick two numbers that are the opposite direction from 0. Negative 1 and 2. Good, what number will you pair up with negative 1? Negative 2. What number will you pair up with negative 2? Good. Okay, good. Let's see your graphs now. Ready, set, go. What do you notice about the graph, everyone? You're plotting your points. What are you noticing about them? What does it look like? Sad faces and happy faces. Okay, sad faces and happy faces. What else do you notice? Do you notice anything about where the points land? Oh, they're, like, identical. They're identical, good. What's the word I used before? Parallel. What? Reflection. They're like a reflection, right? Mm -hmm. Do you all see that? Mm -hmm. If I put, remember uh, last week or two weeks ago when I talked about reflex or reflection is like flipping? Aren't these all flipping across, right? Aren't these points flipping across? You see how this point flips across? You see that? Yeah. You see how this point flips across here? Yeah. Or is it flipping across the y-axis? You see that? Yeah. So in this example, it flips across the y-axis. That's your axis of symmetry. So when you're done, just graph it like we did before, and you're all done. And make sure you try to make a U-shaped graph. That was a little bit of a V, but still, try your best, okay? Now, this concludes our lesson.